OK, Donald Trump won. What happens next? To answer that question, we need to answer another question, and that is, how did Donald Trump win? Now, the majority of people in the United States are workers. They drive buses, they fix your car, they're plumbers, they're builders, they're doing infrastructure. 60% of voters fall into this category. Now, when you have a government that puts their hand into the pockets of these workers and it gets to the point where they're having trouble feeding, housing and looking after their families, that is a major shift in attitude towards the government. Add to that that the government's got their hands in the people's pockets and they're giving that money that they're taking to other people who are perceived by that majority as being completely useless, then you're going to have a backlash. Now the elite left, who are in your mainstream media, who are spewing all of this vitriol about the voters being uneducated and poor and idiots, these people are actually financially unbelievably well off. If they're paying an extra dollar a gallon for gas, they don't care. It doesn't affect them. They're earning millions of dollars a year. Their disposable income is incredible. It affects those 60% of people that are earning less than $100,000 a year. These same people that are on mainstream media spewing vitriol about the voters who voted for Donald Trump are completely and utterly out of touch with what's happening in ground roots America. So you have tax dollars that are taken from workers who create things, who fix your cars, and they're taking that money, the government's taking that money, and they are giving it to people with pink hair um, who contribute very little to society apart from making this massive noise. So understandably, the working class families of all races are upset by this. Now, of course, the woke left mainstream media, like, for example, The View, have come on after the election and called the 60% of hard-working Americans stupid, uneducated, racist, fascism. They want to stop social media being able to give a message out to the general population. That's fascism. That's a restriction on your freedom of rights. That's why Donald Trump won this election. So what happens next? All of the workers, the 60%, they get in their trucks, they get in their buses, they get in their service vehicles, and they go and pe fix people's plumbing, build houses, do all of those things, like they've done all the way through, and make very little noise about it. What happens next for the woke left? They jump onto social media, and I think Bruce Willis said it best. Somebody call the way.